Hi, today I want to talk to you about something that, uh, as a board gamer, I remember struggling with early on in uh, acquiring my board games and acquiring my collection, and that's board game components organization. Many games like these are full of tokens, miniatures, cards, and as soon as you punch them all out from the uh, spruce, sometimes you find yourself uh having trouble closing the closing the boxes and putting it back inside the box so i want to ask you what are your solutions for working components how do you s store them to your box how do you manage miniatures inside the box uh i want i'm gonna show you some of the things that i've come across over the years but i want to find out from you guys if there's a better way to do this and what have you discovered throughout your board gaming career? Welcome back guys, my name is Ricardo and this is We Play Games. Over the holidays, um, it's been a while since I recorded something, but over the holidays, I was playing mostly at uh, other people's uh, places and I was bringing my games around. And I have a few friends who are becoming board gamers. They're slowly acquiring new games. And I've been playing games for over 20 years now and I don't really think about these things anymore. But as I was uh, setting up my games, uh, they started asking me questions as far as, oh, that's how you do that. That's how you manage to put the components back into the game box because uh, they don't fit. So many, of these many of these games have components that once they're punched out and the miniatures, the cars, the tokens, etc. Um, once you try to put them back into the box, they simply don't fit. Now, some of these boxes do have uh, great uh, inserts that are already part of the game so let me show you this for example this is a game that i particularly love when it first came out and i just thought the insert was great for this game um it's one of i don't know why but i just really love the idea that they within the insert they have a place for everything the cards the tokens the dice but in this area they have a special place for the uh, point score uh tracker and then over that uh there's the calendar or the you know stations of the year uh area and nothing slides out obviously if i place this in my in my um in my collection standing up some of these might fall down or something but as long as you just lay down your games in your collection then you're good now not all games have these great inserts many games uh, like especially fantasy flight are heavy in components so when i first started playing uh board games um i remember back in the day whenever i asked around about this a lot of people will use this plano box and this one's the model 3650n it's it's, it's a great box uh, it's very uh mostly fits I, I think it fits most boxes, most standard size boxes, and I think that's why many board gamers use it probably till now, um, because it just, let me see, I'm going to do it here on the, on the lid. So this one, this one wouldn't fit, actually. This is um, uh, Back to the Future game. It wouldn't fit this game, but I'm using, so this one right here, I'm actually using that, bo that Plano box for all the tokens for Mansions of Madness. So I have all my tokens here. They fit, obviously, these plano boxes, these tackle boxes. You could, you know, mount the different dividers as you need them. Um, let me put that here. So as you see fit, you you know, you place the dividers where you need them. And they, they kind of work great for that. Um, now, these are about... I, I want to say they were about $8 at a time when I bought them. I don't know how much they are now. But as, you, as your uh, collection starts getting bigger and bigger, adding $8 to every game, it could become quite expensive. So I started looking for other options, cheaper alternatives. So over time, 
I just try to buy everything at the, your Dollar Tree, your 99 cent store. And this is these are some of the things that I've discovered that I've used quite a lot. So, um, so I got these boxes here. They're kind of similar to the Plano box. And these ones are not as uh, versatile because the dividers are already preset in this set in these areas so uh these are only $1.25 right now but you know they're about the same size um this is actually we measured this this is about 10 and a half inches by around seven and a half inches counting the hinges this one right here oh and it's it's about it's about uh inch an inch and three quarters this way this one you look at this too this one is a little bit smaller so it's not as long it's one is nine inches by almost six inches and this one's um oh how about the same an inch and three quarters it looks like inch and seven eighths for this one but anyways this one's also a great box that you could acquire at your local um dollar store and this one's actually made by a company called two bench hardware i don't know if you can see it right there but this is another option another thing that i found uh, once again, at the same dollar store is this. Um, this is actually made for collector showcase stuff. So let me see. So this is a collector showcase uh, box. I think it's mostly for like Hot Wheels or um, where are these guys called? Um, drawing the blank right now. Um, the, the little guys, uh, Legos, the Lego people. Um, anyways, um, so this one, I just open it right now. This one only has six compartments. This one measures, the lid opens completely like this. Um, this one has six and a half by about six and a quarter. And this one's also, this one's actually one and a half inches tall. So this one's another option. These two boxes, so let me show you back back showing you here the back to the future box just for an idea this one would definitely fit here and this one would definitely fit here as well because this is a little bit shorter than the other one than um the plano box so that's one benefit of finding these over the plano box uh, because they're a little shorter they would definitely fit the smaller boxes Okay, now, one thing I want to show you here using Back to the Future box is that sometimes I discovered that um, a few times you want to have uh, the components set for every player that's going to be playing, right? So um, I'm not going to do this whole thing right now in front of you guys, but just to give you the idea, uh, this is probably a bad example for players. But um, let me remember. Uh, so for example, in Back to the Future, each each character comes with their own power um, tiles. So, I um, can't remember, I think there's four. Yeah, there's four characters, I believe. So I'm just gonna separate these really fast. I also found at the Dollar Tree store, this uh, 10 container, I opened the baggie right here, but they're basically this. And these, uh, these are square containers or rectangle containers. There's 10 to uh, back. And this bag is $1.25, so you get 10 of these, which are great for small player tokens like this. So um, normally what I'll do is uh, this player gets, you know, X amount of tokens and X amount of die. And any pieces that this player gets, so for example, this one right here, this is, uh, who's the yellow one? Um, the dog, what's his name? Uh, Einstein, I think Einstein is the dog. So Einstein goes in there with his tokens, and if he gets any other uh, any other components, that will just go in there, and then you have this player set ready for you know playing the game and setting up and passing the components around for each player. Um, obviously, these dividers do end up quite taking a lot of space from 
from board uh, from the box so normally i take this out depending on you know how the layout goes most likely because of this component for this particular game i will probably end up removing this and trashing it and then just using these small containers to uh finish putting all the con all the rest of the components here another thing that i found once again at the dollar store is um these crayon boxes these crayon boxes are uh different colors where i found clear and pink and they're just for crayons but these are perfect for regular size cards so in this other deck box so deck boxes are not that expensive and they're great they meant for cards and i think they're maybe like two dollars two dollars fifty they're they're great the only reason why sometimes i use this over this is um they're about the same size except that this one it's uh it's a little thinner so whenever i have a deck of cards that are it's not going to use the whole size of the the whole width of the deck box the ultra pro deck box i rather use the crayon boxes because they would take less space inside the box so sometimes i have games where there's a lot of different decks but are smaller decks so once again mansions of madness is probably one of those rather than using this one and having to put all the decks into one big one to save space i'll use maybe multiples of these and separate the decks and then just put them into the box so this saved me some space and easy of ease of a uh, um set up and putting the game away uh talking about putting the game away let me put this away to show you the last component i'm just gonna toss this real fast here i'll take care of it after um the last component that i want to show you that i found that i have found useful maybe not as useful as uh these other components but useful depending on the game that you're playing so a lot of times we have a small components shaped like coins or small tokens that get a lot of uh hand, uh, they, they basically they just get used a lot uh one example of that is uh right here the fox of Quedenburg. this game has a lot of tokens they go into a bag you gotta constantly shuffle them and over time they're gonna start getting destroyed the edges might start coming off and so on and so forth this is maybe not as expensive not as, as cheap as the rest of my options here and you can only find this online but there are these uh coin capsules so coin capsules are something that they use for coin collectors um and i can't think of any other use for it uh, maybe there's other uses for it but they come in different sizes uh, depending on the coin that you're collecting but uh, I found these uh, 100 pieces uh, made in China. And I think I got this on eBay. You could probably find them on AliExpress or any other uh, online, any Amazon, I'm sure. But these fit uh, tokens like uh, the ones here. Let me, let me change the camera. All right, here we go. So this is a coin capsule that fits perfectly the tokens for quacks. And I think this is just great. Obviously, you're going to need quite a lot. So that's why I got 100. And I'm not even sure if that's enough. But um, this was not that much. I want to say... I'm sorry, it's been a while. But I think I paid maybe $10 for 100 of these. Um, and I actually got a second one. That was for 200 pieces rather than 100. So um, I'll be using those for, for this right here. So once again, this is these are just my ideas, what I've came across. As you can see, for now, while well, I was making the change, I still use Ziploc bags like everybody else. The, most games come with Ziploc bags. Um, they're still very useful. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention is sometimes I use this only to have the components ready for each player. But uh, when the game starts, perhaps depending on the size of the tokens or what the tokens are, this might not be as easy to remove the tokens from. So rather than to use this as um, a container during the game, I actually found, give me one second, let me get them because I forgot to put this here. I found these particular bowls from 
uh, old time pottery barn, whatever that store is called. I forgot. Old time barn, old time pottery. You guys know what I'm talking about. Old time, I rarely go there, but I was there with one of my sisters recently and um, I found these bowls. They're just plastic bowls, but they came in so many different colors. I got like maybe three sets of them and now every player well let's say that i'm not using this as an actual player tokens but rather whatever different tokens are you know in the game and i'll just put the different type of tokens into each one of these if it's hard to remove them from here use them i just toss them into this for every game and then when we're done with this and we're gonna put the game away we just it's really easy to just put them back in here you know so uh, these are great these also were maybe about five dollars for i want to say maybe it was like four bowls each or something like that and uh the, you know the good thing is i got so many different colors so i could you know many different games once again like this one right here um whenever we were putting um these tokens into the bowls obviously like for example right here they have the yellow one and the and the purple one so obviously i just use the purple one put my purple tokens there and the yellow one and i'll just put my yellow to tokens in there so what are we doing right now is obviously i'm gonna go through this Put each one of these, which is gonna take a while, but I'll be putting each one of these into this, and then this probably into these little containers if needed, and I'll just have them ready for each game. So, anyways, guys, I just, I just wanted to uh, show you guys that are uh, real fast. I just, you know, once again, I, it's something I've been doing for so many years that I don't longer think about it. I just go to the store and. If I have a new game and I'm, you know, struggling with some components or something, I just kind of default to this or some of the things I already know. However, that doesn't mean that there's no better options, right? So I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what have you discovered during your board gaming career and what other options are out there. I am aware that there's a special um, uh, inserts for each game that they sell you could buy made out of uh, PLA if someone's 3D printing them or laser cutting it. But I just wanna look at, obviously, save money, spend my money on games rather than on inserts. I do have 3D printers. I have 3D printed inserts myself before, um, but it does take a while. It's not, it's maybe not as ch cheap as this solution, depending on the game. But uh, it just takes a while, and that's the problem that I have with that. I'd rather look for something close by. I don't have a storage store or container store uh, nearby, so that's a problem I have here. But uh, if you guys know of any other uh, solutions, even if you have to buy them online, please let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what are your comments, uh, what are your suggestions regarding board gaming components organization inside your boxes let me know down in the comments uh i'm always uh, glad that people put links into some uh, uh, uh other components and other uh, things that we could buy online uh but yeah just let me know thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe bye